Shalom, brothers and sisters. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from Yahuwah, our Father, and Yahusha. He is the Mashal Yah, the one that carries the burden of Yah. His voice, our high priest, and soon coming king. Hear, O Yashar, Yahuwah, our mighty one. He is one. There is no other mighty one but Yahuwah, and Yahusha is his voice. The renewed moon has been spotted and confirmed on the evening of Wednesday, September the 4th. We'll make our Shabbats on Thursdays for the ninth month. The ninth month already. This year seems to be moving around pretty fast. What we're going to do is learn how to read this calendar for the newcomers. It is the ninth month. All right. It is the ninth month, and some people are in the sixth month, seventh month, but we do not use uh, or add the thirteenth month to the calendar because it's nowhere in scripture where we should. We're going to follow the path of years, so we're going to stay on course with the ninth month. The name of this month is Kaz Loop. You look under the bottom here, you'll see under the, um, under the bottom of Kaz Loop, up under it, you'll see the, the Abaya script here, Abaya. So this Kaz Loop, it reads from right to left. Now, if you look over to your right, don't let the numbers and the position of it and the writings confuse you. If you have any confusion at all, just look over to your left. It'll explain everything. The first box we're going to look into, we're going to look in the upper left-hand corner of the Sunday, right? Upper left, that is September. It's in the green. Upper left, that's Pope Gregory's calendar, okay? All right, if you look across from it, this is the calendar we use from the path of years, the eighth month in gray, okay? And in the lower left, it is the work day of the week. So in scripture, it tells us to work six days, and in the seventh day, we should rest. So that work, this lower left, is going to indicate here. So this was the fifth day work day of the week on Sunday, right? And then you had the sixth, and we had our seventh day was the, um, the Shabbat. It was on Tuesday, so it was the fourth Shabbat of the eighth month. All right, so we we went out and looked for the new moon, and it come out on Wednesday. The new moon is a small piece, crescent piece of light that you barely can see at sundown after your fourth Shabbat. It may come on the evening of the fourth Shabbat, or even may come out the next day. You got a 29-day month and a 30-day month. This is having to be a 30-day month. So you look over here. That's what you should be seeing right there in the evening. It's not a full moon. All right. Full moon, that means it's full. It has to grow to be full. Full moon is not the new moon. All right. The dark moon, if you can't see anything, it is, it can't be new if it is dark. So your new moon is here. New moon indicates new month. So once you see this small crescent light right here, you know. The next day is your new moon day. All right. Okay. After you got new moon day, this is a day of celebration. It is not a Shabbat. After that, you count one, two, three, four, five, six working days. All right. Six working days. The next day is your Shabbat. If you notice, it is directly up under new moon day. Okay, so this is day eight of the month, but it's the seventh day, which is the seventh day, which is the day of rest. You had one, two, three, four, five, six working days. The day of rest is the seventh day, seventh working day, and it's the eighth day of the month. Your Shabbat will be up under new moon day, and it'll be day eight, 15, 22, and 29 every month 
you're going to have new moon day and four Shabbats. No more, no less. You're also going, you're not going to add a 13th month at the end of the year. That puts you back. That puts your months back. We do not go by that. We cannot follow the, uh, the Jews and the Israelite brothers. We can't follow them. It's wrong. It is not right. We're going off course. You got to stay on the path of years. So this is the ninth month. Once we have our fourth Shabbat, then we are going to look for the new moon again. We're going. It's a projection. We don't. We have to get it confirmed when it is, it is spotted. We don't guess. We don't predate our calendars ahead. We wait until we spot it and confirm it. Then that's when we make our calendars and we'll go by those dates. So once you have your first Shabbat, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got your first Shabbat right here, day seven. All right, then you do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six working days. Seventh day is your day of rest. That'll be on September the 19th. If you're, it'll be new moon day. The moon, this day right here in the evening, you'll see the moon starts to wane. It'll go down to, to like 90, 98% on this day right here. And that's we get that from New Moon Giant and uh, probably in the next few videos, I will show you how to how to read uh, how to help you guide for Moon Giant. Moon Giant is not it's not one hundred percent correct, but it'll help you or guide you through your correction will be through um when you see it and confirm it. Alright. So if you got the second Shabbat on the 15th day of the month, you go work six more days. One, two, three, four, five, six working days. Your day seven of that work week, the third Shabbat. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is your fourth Shabbat. Six working days. Seventh day is your Shabbat. And if you have any more questions on this topic, on the calendar, or anything else, please go to our website. It is yahuwah-lua.com. Right, Brother Daoud, he is our more, and he is very well experienced and educated in the scriptures, and he can take care of most of, well, pretty much all of your questions. All right? We ask that the sisters go to Sister Delalia for in their concerns. We try to keep it proper. Let the sisters go there. Brother Mayaka on. He is our site technician and he is an expert. All right. Take care of any of your concerns. Going to force the website, force in the program to using anything. He's very, he's very good at what he does. He also has some other channels also that he's working on for little small kids to help them learn, count the colors and different things like that. So hit hit him up and check on some of the uh, the other sites that he's working on. But he is our site technician and he is an expert. Our brother Dash, he is uh, also an expert in the law, in the law of the land, and in the law of in the scriptures, our law. So anything, any questions you have, and he's good in history, everything. He's very good. Just contact him. For me, you can get ask me for a calendar and any of the other questions. Also, you have concerns with, I can answer them. I help you. Be glad to help you out. We have other brothers and sisters behind the scenes. We have Sister Dyer. We have Sister Deboya or Sister Amanda. Uh, it's some more um two the sisters you can contact if you go on the site. And also with us, you have Brother Xavier. We got Brother um. Brother Xavier, you got Brother Kayahu, um, and also, like I said, we got Brother Dash, and we got a few more, so I don't want to uh, leave anybody out, but sometimes it's more names <laughs> that you can keep up with, but feel free, go to the site, find it, here's their email right here, and just go there, and, you know, you can learn, we'll be glad to take time over anybody who wants to learn anything about the, the word.